Hey everyone, welcome back to 2 Idiots Review. I'm Caleb. I'm Hannah, and we are getting ready to talk about WandaVision. Uh, mainly episode 3, but I'm sure some 1 and 2 will pop in there, because we didn't do a review on those, so... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I know, our bad. Um, definitely, you know, with each episode it's gotten better. Like, each episode is better than the last. Mm. Um, not that the first one was bad, because I really enjoyed the first episode. The second one kind of, you know laying little breadcrumbs here and things and you're kind of you know it's, it's a show you really do have to like really pay attention um and then this last episode episode three was just a lot of stuff's gonna happen and i have a feeling from here on out <laughs> it's just gonna be madness <laughs> not multi-person madness but <laughs> kind of funny <laughs> i mean but yeah so it should be should be interesting uh yeah i mean i feel the same way um you know we Grew up watching, I mean, it was well after our time, I should point that out. Um, well, not, well after. Uh, but we grew up in our childhood watching, like, Isla Blue Sea and... Dick Van Dyke uh, Show, Mary Tyler Moore, yeah, Brady Bunch. I Dream of Jeannie, like, all those all yeah. those old, you know, black and white shows. Uh, so for us, you know, it was... We understood what they were trying to do with the first two episodes, and we enjoyed it because it was almost like a nostalgic callback to our childhood watching those shows, once again, reruns. We're nowhere near that old. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so we had a we had a fun time watching the first two episodes uh, because we were able to relate to that and everything. Uh, but then yeah, coming to the third episode, um, I did like having it in color now, <laughs> um, and yeah, there was just a lot going on in that episode. I feel like this one really pushed the narrative forward. The first two were just kind of setting up. The second one, you know, gave a little, a little bit more bit, clues. But... You know, there was like banging noises and they couldn't figure out like what it was, and I feel like it was people on the outside like trying to like get in. And then she found, like, the helicopter, and then there was, like, red blood. The, and, and the bee suit, the beekeeper. Yeah, the beekeeper, and she was just, like, new. <laughs> and, you know, for all that. So it was, you know, it was a really good, a really, really good, the first two episodes were really good setting up the stage for what was going to happen. And then the third one, all, yeah, all kinds of craziness was happening where we find out that um, Geraldine, I think was her name. Yeah. Um, it wasn't actually a part of whatever is going on, and she have somehow infiltrated the city, and it's just been, been kind of like pretending <laughs> to, to go along <laughs> with everything. Um, and then kind of blew her cover when she was like, oh, like, your brother died by Ultron. And then she was like... Well, except for, like, you know, it's like, I feel like once you... However she got in, whether, you know, she was wearing the little sword necklace, so, like, obviously they're, you know, she's in cahoots. Um, but I still think, like, once she came in, like, then, you know, she probably thought she was coming in as Monica and was going to be, you know, but then, like, immediately became Geraldine, and I think that her memory, you know, the memories are being affected, because I feel like sometimes, like, she'll be saying stuff, and then all of a sudden, like, something will click, and then, like, the, the memory kind of starts to come back in, where she's just like, oh, like... I'm not, see, I'm, so not, I'm not sure, because I, it's kind of confusing, I'm sure they'll... They'll explain this at some point because, yeah, there's times when, you know, it seems like everyone is just kind of, you know, brainwashed or if, if even a lot of these people are even real people or not. Um, and then there's other points like in the episode where, you know, um, he was, Vision was talking to the neighbors and he was just, they're pretty much going to tell him like, you know, we're all, we're all trapped here. We're all, you know, and it's like they, they almost seem like everybody is aware of what's going on, but then sometimes it doesn't seem like they're aware of what's going on. So yeah. I'm really confused about you know about that and you know are there you know is it because she's losing her grip on it and so people are starting to wake up kind I of i think thing, so because or... i feel like vision being out talking with the neighbors is when all the stuff was happening inside with geraldine mm -hmm. so i feel like then once wanda got rid of her and kind of snapped back in then that's when she was just like okay neighbor i'm gonna be on my way you know and so it's like i i still feel like you know that in my opinion is kind of what happens when people start to ask questions it's because there's other things and wanda's starting to lose her her grip on it and i'm still getting once upon a time once upon a time vibes like the doctor oh. was gonna try to leave town and then like his car broke down and he couldn't <laughs> get out and every you know there's people you know if if people are like you know in like some kind of like brainwash sense but then some of them are slowly starting to wake up it's like totally like we just need, of, like, we just need somebody to come in and be like it's <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so i think that like when Wanda starts to lose her grip and it's kind of, you know, because it all started with her mentioning, like, Pietro, and... I'm confused. Does Wanda not remember? Either? Is she, like, blocking out, like... I think she's blocking out her all, own stuff. All of her other yeah. traumas and stuff like that. But then seeing her twins, I think, kind of started to 
bring that back where she was like, I'm a twin. But then even then, she wasn't like, you know, she was like, oh, I'm a twin. Like, his, my brother's name is Pietro. It wasn't until, like, she said, like, oh, he died by Ultron. And then all of a sudden, like, you saw her start to, like, cry. And then, like, be like, what did you say? Well, but even when she was saying, like, I'm a twin, I still feel like the, the, the tone in her voice changed where she was just like, I'm a twin. Like, I'm a twin. Like, almost like I'm her. She was remembering, like, oh, I'm a twin. And then that's when everything kind of started to break down. Um, but we did see, like, some glitchy moments in the beginning of the episode where the neighbor was, like... Oh, yeah, and then he was just, like, and then, like, it, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. kind of, like, a weird... So, I mean, and that could have been a contraction, like, who knows, but... And Vision starting to catch on when he was just, like, starting to think back to everything that's happened in the series so far, and he's like, I think something's wrong, and then she's just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what are you talking about? Was that in the second episode? No, that was in, that was in this episode. Was it in this episode? Mm -hmm. Where he was just like, you know, our boss, or, you know, Mr. Hart... Blah, 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 he's starting to go through all the things that happened, and he's like, you know, I think something's wrong here, and then all of a sudden, like, it glitched, and then it was, because, the, you know, the rewinding was in the second episode with the beekeeper, oh, right, right, and right. this one was in the third episode, where it just kind of glitched, yeah. and it's like, so, yeah, so he was starting to catch on, and then Wanda was like, no, we're, we're, uh, we're restarting that. <laughs> we're gonna be happy. Cut! I know. Re let's restart that scene. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, the next few episodes are just gonna... I feel like you're just going to be completely different than what we've seen so far. Well, yeah, because like, now you're going to start to see, I feel like we're going to start to be jumping back and forth between what's happening outside the town and what's happening inside the town, because I suppose Leia has been confirmed uh, online, whether, you know, I don't know where their sources are or anything like that, but they said that uh, Agent Wu uh, is, get, is set to appear in six episodes, and there's only six episodes left, so it's like <laughs> he's going to be appearing in every episode from here on out. So it's like, if that's true, now we're going to start to be shifting back and forth between S.W.O.R.D. outside of the town and everyone inside the town. Can and... he just pop in and be a character in the TV series where his character's like a magician? <laughs> and he's learned how to he do He should have been one of the people at the, <laughs> at the magic act. He could have been, he finally learned how to do all the tricks that Ant-Man was doing. He like walks up somebody's <laughs> eyes and pulls the card out from behind their ear. And it's just like... Oh, anyway. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, you know, there's characters we've yet to see, so... Uh, not just his, but, you know, so there is, there's still going to be a lot of stuff coming and there's, you know, there's six episodes left and we're really just starting to, we're really starting to get into it. So I think it's going to be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what are we going to be in the eighties next week? Yeah. Um, 80s next week. And then I, I know they do stuff in the nineties too. I don't know exactly how far they go. I think um, they go into like the, the mid, 2000s. yeah, the mid, mid to late two thousands because they, I think some, one of them is like modern family and that show came out later <laughs> um so yeah uh it's interesting to see what happens after they run out of eras because there's only like two or three decades left for them to do and only and still six yeah but i feel left. like then the rest you know the rest of us might just be in present you know could be so, but it'll be interesting to see like what the dynamic of the town is like once they've caught up and then they're just like oh like now we're just like almost like in real life now <laughs> yeah who knows uh the commercial in this episode Apparently, it may or may not be a nod to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You know, people that watch S.H.I.E.L.D., we watch S.H.I.E.L.D., we haven't seen the last season yet, but um, we're very excited, and we're just like, that's a nod to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and it's like, it could be, it could not be, who knows, I would like to believe it is, but, you know, with the whole Hydra soap Especially thing. since it, it was a reference to one of my favorite arcs of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which was the, um, uh, what's it called, the... Time, the, 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 the frame, something the framework. Fr framework, there you go. <laughs> I was like, like something the, frame. I was like, time frame? I was like, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, the framework. Uh, that whole arc of Agents of Shield was really good. So, um, so yeah. I mean, I, when I when I read that theory, I was like, I could, you know, I was like, everything lines up like it makes sense, whether or not that's what the writers and showrunners and everybody kind of like was, was going for. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it, it fits, so, you know. Who yeah, knows? who knows? But, yeah, so that, that whole commercial with, like, wanting to get away without actually leaving and all that, I mean, they're basically describing what Wanda's doing right now. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you want to you wanna get away somewhere without actually leaving. And I was like, well, I'm like, yeah, don't, don't we all? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, like, that was, and it's still the same, like, actors, you know, Except for the two kids, they were different in it this time. So I don't know if that's gonna supposed to be like yeah, represent, her yeah, represent her kids or like I don't know. Um, or or it could represent Pietro and Wanda since since a lot of theories are uh, that, that those, those older adults parents. are her parents. I mean, yeah, I guess it could. Um, but one of the things I liked was right before when she expelled Geraldine from whatever this is, her. Her, her framework. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> like you saw the screen that's normally like the square kind of like widened to show you like the, oh, the really present. Cool yeah, yeah, like I like liked the, that. The ratio just kind of expanded to what we would now normally be have. watching. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that was like a nice like little detail that like we were leaving her her world and we were seeing the outside world in full in full frame. I'd be curious um, to see if we go back to that in the next episode since in the eighties they still were at a four three still, ratio. Yeah. Well uh, it was four three for a while. It was so. four three for a while, so <laughs> it'll be interesting. But you have anything else? Uh, no, I mean, I've been really enjoying the series I've so far, really so, it. and I'm super excited for the final six episodes. I feel like we're in for a lot of craziness coming up, and that's exactly why I would, this show was, like, the one I was most anticipated yeah. for out of all the Disney Plus shows, and so far it has not disappointed. And I can see this being a show that I could, I'll watch again. <laughs> I can already be like, no, I'm definitely going to be watching this I've already this watched series. at least every episode at least two times, some, some of them three times, so... <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, it's definitely something that, like, once the series comes out, then I'll probably go through and binge... Um, but you know, it, it, for me, it holds up like that where it's something I can go back and yeah. watch and from time to time be like, you know what? I'm going to go watch WandaVision again. Especially because it's not just story driven. It's also just kind of funny and like, just, you know, yeah, in yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's I just think sitcom. like it is, it is pretty funny. Like I know it's like the way that they're handling the comedy for each decade and doing all that. I mean, they're doing that very well because you know, they're having to kind of like adjust it, but still, you know. And it, but it, and it fits the time period it, that yeah. they're in. Like the humor is very much that those time periods. Yeah, that each so I think they've done so they've done a very good job with handling that. Um, that's all I have. You're the, good. I mean, the acting is well. I mean, thing. that's the acting true. Has yes, been phenomenal from everybody from. The, whole, the entire cast, like, very well casted, you know, those obviously reoccurring, like, Wanda and Vision and things like that are, you know, they've proven that, that they're really good actors, but even more so because this is now the focus on them, um, so the acting has just been superb. In this yeah, so I would definitely agree with that. I think Elizabeth Olsen has just been, like, killing it um, in this series, and it's been interesting to watch Paul Bettany... Like, I could almost picture him being in a 60s or 70s, like, TV show, like, he comedy. Like, like well, not just that he looks like it, but, like, the way he's playing it, like, everything. And I'm like, I was like, I could totally see him being in one of those. He's like, I missed my true... Uh, yeah. True um, but, so, yeah, they're all just, you know, the acting and everything has just been really good. Um, I think that's, that's it. it. So, let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Um, that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching.